Letter H is nice and easy the way we're drawing it. We've got a hairline serif that is unbracketed, which means we are not connecting it like this. We've got two spurs on the sides. We've got it a little askew, and then we've got a sawashi crossbar. So I've got my grid turned on again. That is under your wrench tool and drawing guide. I've got mine set to 100, just like we did two videos ago. So I'm going to start with a straight line and I'm just gonna come down five blocks just like we did, again, that same video a couple. What letter would that be? A, B, C, D, E, uh, I think we were on letter F. So I've got my two straight lines and now I'm gonna draw my hairline serif and I'm just gonna go like that. I want it to be a little bit shorter. It's gonna stick over just a little on the edges. And I'll do that again on the bottom, just eyeballing it to make sure it's somewhat close to the same length. And then I'll drag and drop my color in. Now I will swipe left on that layer, click duplicate, and instead of dragging it straight over, I'm gonna go up just a little. And that is just to make it a little more fun and playful. Now I'm going to pinch those layers together so they merge onto one layer and I'll draw my spurs. So for this one, I'm just gonna do it nice and centered. Oops, I'm on my eraser. I'm gonna make this smaller so I can be a little more precise. And I'll draw a little line here, eyeball right in the center, and then I'm just gonna connect it to the rest of my letter H and color it in. So I've got a spur on one side, and since this side is up a little higher, I'm gonna go slightly north of center and draw a spur on the other side. And now we just need to draw our curly crossbar. So last week in letter um, G, this is basically the same thing we were doing with our serifs, only now we're using it as a crossbar. So I like to do it on a new layer just so I can adjust it if needed more easily. And I'll just draw an arc somewhat like that and then connect it like that. And again, since it's on its own layer, I could easily see it. What does it look like if I make my crossbar really low? What does it look like if I make it high? Um, maybe I'll go just a little higher than center there. And then I can tap, merge down, and color it in. And then you can see if you wanna make it even thicker or anything like that. I'm pretty happy with it as is there. So I'll go ahead, tap my layer, click copy, come back over to my template document, click add, paste it in, and we are another letter down. Letter I is another easy but super cute one, so I will see you for that next week.